Just inside the main entrance, the Houston Zoo's aquarium houses over 2,000 fish and marine invertebrates. The past two years have seen some big improvements here. Over $100,000 have already been spent on new tanks that are better for the fish and the visitors. These are lionfish, and those spines are venomous. Their sting is rarely fatal, but it does cause extreme pain, vomiting, and breathing difficulties. Supervisor Michael Concannon and keeper Maureen Koneval have the task of getting them out of their tank. In this tank, we have four uh, turos, the red ball tans lion. Uh, we also have two rhinopias, uh, which is another type of venomous scorpion fish. But today, we're actually replacing this. This tank is probably 20 years old, so we're breaking this tank down in order to be able to upgrade filtration. This exhibit actually has a glass front, acrylic, which the new tank is, is A, lighter, and B, we can buff out scratches. What we're going to do is we're going to take the fish out. We're going to move them over to another a holding tank. And uh, they'll stay there until we get the exhibit back up and running. Whenever we're breaking down an exhibit or just moving animals from one exhibit to another, the biggest thing that we watch out for, the number one thing, is trying to match water chemistry. So we'll drip acclimate these animals to their, their enclosure that they're going to. This allows them to get used to the new environment uh, more slowly and be able to, to adapt to those osmotic changes that are going on. Pretty stressful. You could have deaths from uh, improper acclimation. That's all right. Yeah. So right now, we're just removing the live rock. Uh, this is old reef rock, essentially. But there's a lot of soft corals that are attached to this rock that we've, we've moved into this tank that we need to make sure we take care of during the movement process. So this is a brittle star. Uh, came from Bali, a confiscation by Parks and Wildlife, a uh, legal shipment. And uh, we've had these animals for probably about two years now. In this job, you have to know which creatures you can handle and which you can't. Oh, that's a big, oh yeah. All right, so here is one of the hazards we face doing the job we're doing right this right now. This is a uh, very large adult bristle worm here. They can inflict a pretty powerful, uh, irritating sting. This is just gonna be their, their temporary home for uh, hopefully just a few hours, maybe overnight, depending on how much progress we make with uh, replacing the tank today. 